What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time video for you. Today is episode 11 and please don't click out of this video because it's going to be really funny and I hope you guys will enjoy. The title is True. It is a story about how I got my first black eye and it's actually the first black eye I can remember. Maybe before that I might have had another one when I was really young but not to my memory so this one here I remember fully and... I gave myself the black eye, so that's why it's going to be hilarious for me, and it's going to be hilarious for you, and I hope you guys will enjoy, but let's just get right into it. So, this story actually starts off, um, it, it happened between the 5th and 6th grade, I can't remember when, but as you guys know, because I've mentioned it before on this channel, that I live in Canada, and when I was younger, we had a pile of snow. Now, 2018... We don't have nearly as much snow as we did when I was younger, but whenever I was younger, the public school had a huge paved area. The whole playground was huge, actually, but we had a huge uh, paved area and they used to have to get plow trucks in and they would push it up close to the fence and it would be actually pretty high. So I would say maybe four feet, five feet at some spots. Almost over the fence, let's say, which is pretty high. So needless to say, it was a lot the whole length of the fence. And it used to be really fun, the stuff we would do. We would toboggan down it. We would slide. We'd push people off of it, play multiple games, and it would just be a blast. And so before I say about how I got my black eye, I'll kind of give a backstory because it will make sense rather than me just saying exactly how I got a black eye. So... Now that you know there's there's big um, mountains of snow on each side of the playground, what we would do is have big snow forts. Now we weren't allowed to throw snowballs. I know that's probably what some people are thinking because back then if you threw if you were caught throwing a snowball, whatever grade you were in, that's how many lines you had to write. So if you're in the third grade, that's 300 lines you'd have to write. If you're in the sixth grade, that's 600 lines you would have to write. And we never well I never got caught. I know some people that had. Um, but we would have big forts and we would just find big boulders, bring it back to our fort and we'd try to build up the biggest while also destroying the other person. We'd have to defend ours. So it was like a, it was like a war, like castles, medieval times. So we would try to destroy each other's forts while trying to build up ours. And I was, I guess, um, I used to have a... If you're a 90s kid, if you've ever heard of this, snowboards back in the day aren't the thin ones that you strap your feet on. In the 90s, what they were, or maybe it was the 80s one, but I had it as a kid. It was a thick snowboard, not too long, not like some of the new ones. No straps on your feet. There was a cord on the one end, so you would hold it up with a handle, and you that's what you would use to guide you whichever direction you want to go. And... On the bottom, to help guide you in whatever direction, there was two, maybe three, um, decently long blades, metal blades in there, and they were a little bit sharp. Yes, 90 Kids had dangerous toys, dangerous stuff, but they don't have a lot of this stuff nowadays because it's unsafe, um, which kind of makes sense because I got a black eye from that. But, moving forward... My job in these forts was to basically collect, because I had the snowboard, collect boulders and bring them back and I could fit quite a few on there. And I would actually pretend to be, like, people would know I was on one fort, but I'd pretend that I got kicked out and I joined on this fort and they would just be like, okay, come, we'll do whatever. So I'd take their, their boulders off their fort and put it all on this. And whenever I was questioned, I used to say, well, I'm just putting it on this side. I was told to put it over here. Um... And it, it was really funny because I'd take it back two hours. Anyways, the main part of this story is how I got the black eye. And that's what I'm getting to right now. Imagine this as a kid. There's this whole solid snow area where you you could kick and get decent sized boulders. But I wanted to get as big boulders as I can without ruining a bunch of the snow with my feet. And trying to boot um, areas out. So I was using my snowboard and smashing the uh the snow because the snowboard was thinner than my boot 
and trying to get precise cut boulders, if you will. And I actually remember how I even got it. I remember the one of the first like hits that I made into the snow. I was looking directly over it. Gloves, winter coat, the works, because I'm bundled right up. And one of the first hits, I was like, okay, I'm going to hit right here. And it was just like, boom, right in the eye. And I'm like, fuck, what happened? And then I'm like, oh, shit, I just gave myself a fucking black eye because I just, boom, right in my eye. The snowboard, it's one of those heavy ones. It wasn't the blade end because it was actually the freaking pointy end. That's how I got the black eye. It was the point right in the eye. And it's like, shit. So I had a big black eye from that. And... I remember when the teachers asked, when other students asked, and when my parents asked, I gave them the the one excuse almost everybody says when you get a black eye, and that's, I fell on a doorknob, <laughs> which is the most bullshit answer to how did you get the black eye that anybody can come up with. Most people think you've gotten a fight. No, I gave myself a black eye by hitting a, by taking my snowboard and like smashing it right in my eye. It didn't hit like right in my eye. It hit like right below my eye. That's how I got the black eye so fast. If it hit the eye, I could have lost my eye. I could have lost vision. No, I hit like right under, right on the bone. God, I remember I had a big black eye. I could barely see out of it. And I decided to make this as a story time. Because at the time, it was really funny. And that's what I kind of want to go for moving forward with these story times. I want some serious ones. I want some funny ones. And I want some that just are a joy to do. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to be continue, continuing to do this weekly. Not sure if it's going to be um, Tuesdays. Probably not by now. By this video is up. It's probably going to be still once a week. But it's going to be on different days. Usually my days off are what I'm going to be uploading on. Because I know I'm not going to always have Tuesdays off anymore. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing more in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.